Hello, good morning or good afternoon. I'm glad to speak at the Yapco session at ITNCM China. My name is Stefan Talbom. I'm French and work for K3 Group as leader in professional congress organizer. We plan, execute a worldwide international meeting. Uh, usually our meeting uh, are from 1,000 to 20,000 delegates. So I would like to introduce you a little bit of my background, who I am. And uh, well, as you can tell from the different picture from obviously from China, I um, have quite experience in not only in traveling, but also working in China. And below you can find my WeChat code. So please grab your phone and just can and connect with me. If you like also to chat uh, with me, uh, I'm really glad to make new friends. I have been also invited in some conference in China as a speaker. I'm glad to connect you with you. Um, since we took part a lot of experience, we recently uh, traveled again, and it was really so great to have one-to-one -one meetings uh, to discuss uh, around the world uh, about new opportunities. Uh, at first, I'm a sales professional, and I can really just confirm that nothing can replace a face-to-face -face discussion. Uh, of course, online tools are great and complementary for education. I would like to discuss also a little bit of KIT group, uh, what we are doing, because we are serving many societies around the world. So basically, we have different offices around the world. Uh, in Berlin, it's our headquarter. Uh, also in Geneva, in Switzerland, Dresden, Beijing, Singapore, Abu Dhabi, Paris, and many other places very soon. And 80% of our uh, business is life science, basically a lot of medical society. We do 10% also in culture and 10% in politics. We also have 22 different nationalities in our office. In terms of conferences in China, we have a lot of experience managing local and international conferences. We have really the chance to serve also many VIPs like Angela Merkel for the Asian Development Bank Conference, George W. Bush for the African AIDS Conference, uh, Nicolas Sarkozy for the World Health Summit and Bill Clinton for the World AIDS Summit. I would like also to show you two conferences, two events that we organize in China. On the left, the International Hypertension Conference in Beijing, and in the right um, is the International Ancient Capital Forum in Luoyang. Uh, it was 2018. So we also serve as, uh, as a service provider to many societies. Uh, this is just some few references to showcase that we, we do collaborate with many societies on a long-term basis. Yeah, and now I would like to introduce you to the EDGE program from the YAPCO. The YAPCO, uh, it's a member-driven association rating the quality standard in the global meeting industry. And I would like to show also some statistics about the YAPCO, some key facts. First of all, the YAPCO membership remained extremely strong with 99% of retention. We represent together 138 registered offices in 40 different countries. What about the employment? Uh, we employ around 7,163 staff members as for 2021. Uh, 11,945 events organized by the YAPCO members, uh, meaning also 36,479 events day. In terms of delegate number, all YAPCO members organized almost 15 million delegates in total. Switching to virtual and hybrid event format has raised the number of attendees with over 14 million in total. The ratio are two thirds virtual and one third person in person. The industry section is as follows 24% are corporate, 4% governmental, 60% are association meetings, 12% others. The Yapco members company generate over 118 million euro exhibition revenue, that is about 850 million RMB. 
And 175 million in sponsorship revenue, that is about 1,250 million RMB. So in total of 100, no, 300 million overall uh, in, of income that represents uh, 2,200 million RMB. Really fantastic numbers. The YAPCO means also quality. So basically, the PCO go through an extensive accreditation process to become member. And we are also regularly audited. The YAPCO member learn best practice from global experts and industry colleagues. So also, the YAPCO member have access to online platform to network with colleagues around the world. This is a great opportunity. So please just subscribe to be, become a member. So you have the chance also to participate to different education steps. So basically, yeah, education is our DNA. So we have different activities from foundation, intermediate, advanced, and specialists. It starts with the CEO meetups, the annual meetings, uh, the edge seminars, uh, web edge, and impact dialogues as a few activities that we organize. Here are some events that we also organize uh, is the industry events uh, through our leadership discussion and education presentation at major industry event. We also host uh, the Edge uh, bespoke uh, seminar for specific audience uh, at the YAPCO. We also organize the YAPCO Impact Dialogues. It's online panel discussion designed for trigger reflection. Uh, the web at Hot Topics, it's uh, topical online uh, education webinars and the web at a created online learning platform uh, designed and delivered by meeting industry professionals. And last but not least, the Yapco Edge seminars, three days experience to build new skills, make lifelong connection, um, usually held in Europe, uh, in Asia Pacific region and Latin America. What about the YAP Commission? So, the YAP Commission is to raise the standard of service amongst its member and other sector of the meeting industry by means of continuing education and interaction with other professionals. As you can see, we have many YAPCO PCO represented around the world. Full list of members available is on the website by country. Basically, we at the Yapco accredited company member were headquartered in one of the country, and we may have registered member office. Of course, those need to fulfill also the criteria in terms of quality standards. All right, so let's start with uh, the first quiz. Name the 15 most popular city for international conference. I give you five seconds now. All right, uh, the first is Barcelona, Paris, Vienna, Berlin, London, Singapore, Madrid, Prague, Lisbon, Seoul, Buenos Aires, Budapest, Hong Kong. Dublin and Copenhagen. The next quiz, name five countries who held most international conferences. Five seconds again. And it's USA, Spain, Germany, France, United Kingdom. What are the 10 most popular Chinese cities for international conferences? Five seconds again. All right, so as you can see, we have a, a listing from different cities from Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Hanyu, uh, and many other cities. Uh, to be honest, I don't know all of them. Chongqing, I know because I've already been there. I'm, I'm really looking forward to visit more of the cities uh, after COVID. Yeah, also very interesting number of figures about uh, 
cancel or postpone meeting in terms of international conferences. So as you can see, 44% of the international meeting have been postponed. Um, and the next will be virtual. Virtual meetings represent 23.3%, uh, followed by cancelled, unfortunately 17% or 18% have been cancelled. Um, unaffected have been 8% and convert uh, to hybrid uh, is, of course, the rest and uh, well, relocated, uh, of course. So the international conference definition, we have three different categories. The first, we have conference between national government. We have conference organized by international association. And last but not least, we have conference organized by international companies worldwide. So the criteria is the first, is the conference must be held in at least three countries. And the conference must have mm, more than 50 participants, uh, quite easy to reach. And the conference must uh, take place on a regular basis. This is a criteria that also use uh, the uh, ICA. All right, and now for the international conference uh, market into China, we see an increase since 20 years. However, uh, if you compare with the international market, it's still low. There are a few reasons. First, a low position in international association, less competitive than other international cities, and policy and coordination for building an organization is a little bit also more complicated as of today. So the challenges, two clients, I'm going to show you the next slide later on to explain what we mean with uh, two clients. The timeline, the and the communication, politics and logistics. Two clients, meaning you have an international association and the local host. Why is it two clients? Yeah, very simple, because uh, you always need to communicate uh, in Mandarin, uh, you have to connect with the local host and the international organi organization association with the actual clients. Uh, give you an example, we work for the International Society of Hypertension and same with the Chinese Hypertension League, we had to collaborate together. And um, the same we apply for the International Immunological Society and the Chinese Society of Immunology. The timeline. So you have a, an annual conference on international scale. It's take about 10 months minimum. In China, three to four months. B annual conference. Usually it's take 15 to 20 months. For preparation in China, six to ten months. Final conference, twenty to thirty months, or no, twenty-four to thirty months, and in China, eight to ten months. So basically, in China, everything is much shorter, and internationally, it's a little bit more longer. Communication. So basically. Uh, Internationally, we have a website, Facebook, email blast, Twitter, so different tools that we use for communication in the Western world. In China, we have WeChat and regular phone call. We have also the mentality in the Western world, 965. We work from nine o'clock in the morning, we finish at six o'clock in the afternoon, and we have five days a week. In China, 996, 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock evening, six days. Uh, another point is internal, say no for disagreement. Internal in China, no reply for disagreement. So big difference of, of communication. Politics, government policies, financial support, these applications. The three elements really important to ease the process to make life easier for association and for future conferences. In terms of logistics, you have transportation, 
hotel, social events, tours, payment, think about free conference, on-site, the daily life. So all the elements have to be really, really planned in advance um, and organized and communicated with the international and local host. Food, vegetarian, is gluten-free, halal, all the points about the delegates, meal time. We have lunch, coffee break, dinner. So trend, west to east, very interesting. I'm going to show you some few examples. Um, we organize the European Society of Intensive Care Medicine Conference called EDEKIM. And well, basically, the side should have no borders. So EDEKIM decided to organize a, an event uh, outside of Europe uh, in Hong Kong. So the objective are grow non-European attendance called EDEKIM Live, grow also non-European EDEKIM membership, meet demand on EDEKIM sites outside of Europe, and develop international relation and visibility. The concept, it was a pilot project, independent executive event outside of Europe, focus on just one region, develop a collaborative scientific approach, and a trust organization to co-PCO, that is us, uh, since we work as a co-PCO, basically co-PCO meaning long-term partner. This is an example, Euro-Asia Hong Kong, and um, as you can see, they repeated um, year a year with increased number of delegates. So same apply for different European association or international association that decided to do a conference in China. GFR it's a French radiology association. They are also connected with China and did uh, also one event, uh, the European Society uh, of Respiratory uh, ERS also did an event and the International Hydropower Association. So the process, different step, and of course, great success. Letter of intent, you have to start with a letter of intent if you want to bid. And you start with the bidding process. You have to set up the organization and scientific committee the pre-conference preparation, and at the end of the day, you have to organize a conference. All these take time, uh, but well, it can be very successful if you put some effort. Group work. Wow, this is really important. Well, describe your destination. What makes your city venue attractive for international conference? Think about Chamin, Beijing, Nanjing, Tanjo, Hanzhou, Chiang, uh, what else? I probably I forgot. Now we move forward to simple step to win bids in the conference market. So bid for the appropriate conference. Discern client requirement, understand bidding process, identify, identify negotiable, um, compared to non-negotiable criteria, build relationship based on trust. Bid for the appropriate event. You cannot fit a square patch on a round hole. Very important. Choose the right event for your new destination. And yeah, you have to spend more time in digging and find is it the right conference. If yes, this can be very successful. Compliance, really important. Can I do a conference on the beach? Probably yes, if it's a corporate event. Uh, is it a medical conference where you have compliance with a uh, pharma regulation? Certainly not. The same apply if you want to go in a, a conference in spa, casino. All things have to be considered. Other factors to consider? Well, the rotation, international, regional, national, a lot of conference um, are the international, regional, and then you have a rotation pattern. Uh, if a conference took place in Europe, it's unlikely that this will come back the next year following if it's an annual conference uh, back to Europe. 
So Asia have higher chance. Uh, so this you have to take into consideration. The size, do you have the proper infrastructure to organize a 10,000 event? Is my city big enough? Uh, really important is subvention. Many destinations forget that uh, association uh, need subvention. So if the government, the local city support, this can be very um, important and have an impact. Trends, procurement, logistic and communication. Uh, more smaller regional meetings, compliance venue and destination, small exhibition, more strict compliance, face to face and remote participation. Well, those are the trends. So, really important to pay attention that we see more and more smaller meetings, specific meetings, and uh, yeah, exhibitions decreasing, actually. So, we have a uh, challenging uh, yeah, years uh, ahead of us, but uh, again, we need to know what are the trends and how can we yeah, have added value. Also, in terms of pharmaceutical codes, the compliance become more and more for complicated uh, for medical conference. Um, think about the value, the registration rate, uh, and the, the location. Another challenge is, uh, of course, facility rental and housing costs. Are the hotels um, competitive? Uh, the facilities, uh, does the facilities provide all services? Uh, is it transparent enough? Um, usually when you, you do a conference and uh, you already have the first quote, um, you forget sometimes the EV cost because there is the, uh, a mandatory EV supplier. Um, all things have to be considered, especially when you apply. Um, yeah, static and grow and slow growth. Registration fee restricted to modest annual increase. Think, don't try to increase too much registration fee and the corporate support are also declining. So if you have also in your region, a lot of companies uh, that can support these specific meetings, this can be really an, a big advantage. Challenge. Increase attending expectation, technology, connectivity, and increase need for risk mitigation, natural disaster, terrorism, now COVID, or what else, a really important thing that we are all risk managers. And then you have well, difficulty navigating local custom and regulation, banking, VAT, and visa uh, complication. So what PC, what what PCO and association are looking for? So provide a believable and positive value proposition, address logistical requirement concisely and precisely, understand how decisions are made, very important, distinguish between influence and decision makers, show us how you can help strategic goal to be achieved, really important is work all together as a team and you can be successful. Understand the clients, especially what they wish to achieve. Um, the goal is really important. So I have a question you have also you have to ask, why do associations have meaning? Well, Congress is a highest profile of activities. So it's mobilization of stakeholders worldwide. They're all meeting together, connecting, and not only have fun, but exchanges education and unique professional output, forum for business innovation, external relation, industry relation, and a substantial contribution to the mission. That's really important uh, to have a face-to-face -face meeting uh, with uh, hybrid component. Understand the process of bid, role and responsibility, and especially who are the decision makers. Is it the HQ? Is it the National Society? The PCO can contribute also a lot. All things have to be considered. Venue destination, assessment and selection. So less tangible part. Have I understood the process? 
do I know who is making both a recommendation and decision? Because there's two different things. You can recommend a decision. Uh, usually a PCO can recommend when they do assessment, but the decision-making process are usually made by others, uh, especially uh, on host. Uh, what are the association of PCO-specific issue or priorities? Uh, which of the 12 criteria are negotiable? Which are not? Really important negotiation. Well, here's a screenshot of, uh, well, actually a picture that I made. Uh, it was for the International Hypertension Conference that we organized in Beijing. And the uh, local host made 2004 uh, for the International um, Hypertension Conference, uh, actually expected uh, 2012, but the loss. The succeed for the uh, Asia Pacific Conference, um, 2005, and uh, well, the conference took place 2007. It was well, a great opportunity to connect with the local halls, uh, uh, with the international halls, uh, to meet uh, international stakeholders, and to promote lo local halls to bid for future conference. And actually, 2008, yeah, the local halls, the Chinese hypertension conference bid for 2016, but the loss. But 2010, the bid again and the one. So eight years, uh, it took eight years actually before it had been decided to organize the conference. So you see, if you lose, you can win. Um, you need a lot of time to prepare. Well, the other slide is about the invitation tenders in terms of PCOs. Uh, so two in December 2015, uh, the local host sent to 12 potential bidders, to 12 potential PCO, uh, the invitation. Uh, and actually only six PCO, including KRT, submitted a proposal. Uh, well, a couple of months later, actually it was quite fast, uh, KRT have been awarded um, to organize the conference uh, on hypertension in Beijing. And uh, yeah, we signed one month later. Uh, this was a very interesting project. Value destination and assessment and selection. 12 core criteria. Value and city availability, venue logistic and design, venue business aspect, appeal and suitable uh, of city, accessibility of city, accommodation and partner, transportation, currency and fiscal, sustainability, industry and regulatory environment, association specific and local authorities. Trend impacting the way that the association do business. Member and delegate democracies should think about the uh, also uh, delegate demogra dem demographics, that's really important. Um, member and delegate attribute and uh, uh, member delegate employment public scrutiny, uh, digital literacy, competition, healthcare, industry compliance. Strategic priority for association business. How do they impact to the strain? Governments and accountability, destination, selection process, business like management, procurement, PCO. Really important the PCO usually do the procurement on behalf of the client. The name of the game is procurement. That's really important. So value proposition and building loyalty, engage member, delegate. Do you have a delegate acquisition packet? How can you grow delegates? Maybe with WeChat marketing, do you have a concept? A showcase to your clients that uh, Asian markets, uh, Chinese markets are really important. Compliant industry relation, advisory group, and diversification create new source of income. Uh, it's also possible. Advocacy and PR, public events, especially the outreach. Associations showing new ways of doing business. So uh, research version, in-house management, consultancy, best of breed, process-driven site selection, procurement, strategic meeting management, and return of investment. So uh, also you have to understand what is negotiable, what is optional, what, do you have a unique advantage? 
so basically when you make a, a differentiation of uh, your location, it's really important that you understand what is negotiable and what is not negotiable. On one hand, you have the value availability. You cannot negotiate. Also the same with the capacity or value experience, the accommodation capacity, destination infrastructure, currency, and international access. However, what you can negotiate as venue price, venue layout, choice of service and supplier, unless it's mandatory to have this and this supplier, usually associations do not like, and while well, it's better to be more neutral. And accommodation terms, local authority liaison, fiscal advice, and connectivity. So selection criteria. So show us how you can mobilize a destination and facilitate operation and outcome. So delegate boosting, nationality and regional, local industry liaison and engagement, local legacy, public outreach, media, PR, local and national authority and government liaison, local transport, safety, risk and risk manager and security, of course, authorization and regulatory um, issue, uh, economic impact study. So understand uh, what this is a people business and the importance to build trust. So the trust is so important, especially when you come to bidding for, for a conference. Um, well, this is a, an example of IFLA, the timeline. Uh, IFLA, it's the International Federation of Library. Um, so we have a different stages. So first stages, we apply for a bid. Either it's rejected or either it's accepted. There's only two choices. And after, uh, well, we have to do some analysis about, let's say, two, three destination is a short list. What we are going to do, especially as a core PCO, we will do some site visit. And uh, we will uh, decide with the board, uh, we will do a final decision uh, or proposal to the board. And if this is positive, of course, uh, the destination will be announced uh, two years before the event takes place. Yeah, finally, I would like to thank you very much uh, for being with you. Um, again, I'm glad to connect with you. My WeChat is down and down below, and uh, I hope we will see you soon. Thank you very much. Cheers.